Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and today is July 26, 2019, and it's about 8.30 a.m., and I am on my way to Jacksonville, Illinois. I have taught in that area two or three times, and so I want to go back and support their quilt show that they're having in Jacksonville, Illinois. So I'll see you at the show. <laughs> and I am walking in it looks like it's a lot of cars so it should be quite a few people so I don't know how the recording is going to go um, also whenever I do quilt show videos it's like being dizzy as some people do not want to appear on film so I try to respect that and keep them out so I'll see you once I pay my entrance fee and enter so I am now going to enter and I will start showing you some clothes. So I hope you enjoy the show. Hi. Hi. Hi, my friends. <laughs> Look, I'll come back and chat with you all. <laughs> A sign up here that they have an antique bed turning. Your three favorite quilts. Thank you. Good morning. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Are you Tia? Yes, I, I am. am. <laughs> I am making your exploding star quilt. Okay. But it's bigger. I use okay. three and a half inch square. Mm -hmm. That's why I said it gets big fast when you change and then I that put size. A border on. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be 108. Oh my gosh. See? It's all blues and gray. The neutrals are light grays. Mm -hmm. It's. So this here is their raffle quilt. I'll come back and get tickets for that later. And now we're going to show you bed quilt. So, trying to make sure. I'm zoomed out as much as possible. I love these quilts. Very nice. So I'm probably not going to tell you the names of people who made them. Beautiful. And this is... is each block depicts a Bible verse. So, I don't know which pattern it is though. Six inch blocks. This is beautiful too. It's quilted by Quiltology. It's gorgeous. Amish friends. Birthday quilt 2018. 
friends are like quilters. They never lose their warmth. That's pretty cool. I've made this quilt before. It's a fun quilt. You normally have, yeah, one sad Jack, and he's over there. Well, she's got a couple, so maybe it's two. But that's pretty cool. So if you're not really paying attention, you miss the Jack, the sad Jacks. Lone Star Floating, very nice. Oh, these are Farmer's Wife six inch blocks. Very nice. This piece by Karen Havlin and quilted by Dorothy Keylor. Very nice. Panel in the middle, I'm gonna assume. It's called Radiance. Yes, it does. And it's by Karen Havlin as well, quilted by Kathy Kilo. Very nice. I think I just saw this quilt on Gamble's YouTube channel where Linda V. Taylor was quilting it or something very similar. And she did custom quilting on it. It's gorgeous as well. This overall feather work is beautiful as well too. soft touch applique very phantom 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 <laughs> I can't even say the word <laughs> but it's a beautiful quilt by Judy Hayes she also did the quilting it's very nice Patriotic rail fences, sort of, kind of. It's called a two-step. So you have kind of two blocks. And then this is the two-step as well. by Kathy Hughes. It's quatre uh, foil made from Missouri Star quilt pattern. Very nice. Her first big quilt. And then there's a quilt right here in the middle. It's the bus mystery quilt. They've got their own framing system, which is nice. So they didn't rent the frames. Down on the bottom, they have stands that the phone sits in. Very nice. This is another of the bus mystery quilt. Quilt. <laughs> bus mystery quilt quilts. It's a different pattern, though. 
Or maybe they just said it different. I don't know. Bus mystery quilt. And bus mystery quilt. So I guess some people said them differently. Very nice. <laughs> You go ahead. You do what you're doing. <laughs> so, no, beautiful is it machine embroidery? Uh, yeah, it's machine embroidery, but it's so beautiful. I love it. It's called Connecting Flowers, and it doesn't say who the embroidery designs it for. So, oh wow! Very nice, and they even have them in the. Ooh folders as well. Wow. I like go, ahead. go ahead. You go ahead. Oh, no. You can see the quilt on the back of this quilt it. very oh, well. Open the door. No, I don't red think thread. Looks like it's so let's see what's oh, on the front. Like Gorgeous. Just all squares. It's by Pat Hartman. Yeah. And quilted by Heather Dead. Yeah. Just beautiful. All squares. And I think they're like two inch finished squares as well. Half square triangle quilts. Blocks made into pinwheels. Very nice. This is Elle's Kitchen, a quilt made from Elle's Kitchen, book by Eleanor Burns. So when I came in, they gave me a card to vote for my favorite three quilts. I think that's a lot easier than trying to vote for a quilt in every category and every size. So maybe I will do that. That was a holiday, wasn't it? Trying to see if this is, it's not machine embroidery, I'm assuming, but let's see. Or did you? Well, this one is too. It doesn't really say. It's called Cleopatra's Palace. Yeah. Uh, Reggie Blair. This is Fall Impressions. It doesn't say what the quilt name is, but it was quilted by Sue Schaefer, piece by Carol, Sue Carroll, I'm sorry. So both the Sue's. <laughs> Pretty nice. It's amazing how the Statlers can stitch and come right back. In. It's very nice. And this is also flannel. And it was a kit also that Sue put together. This is. I call the rows called steps and ladders. It's very nice. I love it. It's two and a half inch strips. And then I'd say that these are six and a half. Very nice. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's a pattern for it. She says she found the pattern in a cool shop in Hampton, Hilton Head Island a few years back. But maybe it's called strips and ladder, so I don't know. Very nice. Look like a panel quilt. Very pretty panel. It is Dream Blossoms. Sherry Beckwith. Mm -hmm. 
another panel quilt by Bernice Kessinger, quilted by Kathy Davis. Show you some of the mallards or goose panel is what she's calling them, but in the quilting, just beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful log cabin quilt. It's called Fiddlesticks and Fancies by Margie Blair. Also quilted by her, made from a kit with additional borders added. Very pretty. So here's an attic windows quilt. And I like how at the top <laughs> have shorter attic windows. It's pretty cool. It could be the dormer windows. And this is called Shadow okay, Box right by Bernice K Kessinger, quilted by Kathy Davis. There's Margie Blair's Lone Star Log Cabin. the long star quilt here very beautiful it's got custom quilting and this one is called Mariner's Compass Star by Karen Havlin doesn't say who it's quilted by and this one is by Bernice Kessinger another panel quilt I love that they use a lot of panels. I need to start working on the ones I have. This one is called Sock Monkey by Jenna Grow, quilted by Diane Roberts, my friend. <laughs> and I'll show you some of the quilting. It's a strip quilt, I'll assume two and a half inch strips, two inch finish. Love the coloring and the black at the end is awesome as well. More panels here. Custom quilting. It was done by Judy Lodson, block top by Eleanor Davis. Called it. it's an original design. But I love the custom quilting on here. Okay, so I'm back. I just happened to stop and chat with one of the members of the guild. And this is a t-shirt quote, if I'm not mistaken. I'll go up close, but I just thought it was really pretty. Uh, the fabric that they used is an ablum print which I have not seen so that's gorgeous but it's all muse all about music just awesome and it's uh, it's just called t-shirt quote it's by Gina Grow and quilted by Jackie Kretler so I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to show you everything that's in here but it's gorgeous the quilting use it use like a variegated thread black whites and grays it's also awesome another panel quilt let's see if the stars are I think they're panel as well but that is really beautiful it's a liberty and justice for all panel <coughs> called Land of the Free by Karen and Lloyd, quilted by Rachel Pam. I'm actually videotaping. <laughs> this is by Margie Blair. It's beautiful. Yeah. Another log cabin. Seen quite a few log cabins. All with a different take. And I'm almost thinking she fussy cut her edges. 
See that? So it was cut out of a border strip, I would assume. But very nice. This one is Sue Carroll, quilted by Sue Schaefer. Very pretty. Show you the panto. It's a beautiful panto. This is by Beth Arnold, quilted by Jackie Williams, called Dreamcatcher. I have this pattern. I need to be making it. Haven't even started. Haven't even. Don't even have a plan yet. But I love it. The labyrinth quilt. Let's go see the quilting. Just gorgeous. So custom quilted. See, this quilt is by Brian Roy. No, Brian Roy is the owner. It was made by Laverne Roy. He quilted by Pam Farmer from the So Sweet Quilt Shop. Another panel quilt. I like how they made their squares here scrappy from scrappy two pieces. So they're really just a nine patch block with an hourglass block. It's very pretty. And all of the hourglass blocks were made from just two fabrics. Very nice. That was Shirley Cook, quilted by Pam Farmer of the So Sweet Quilt Shop. This one is Spinning Star by Ramona Pfeiffer, quilted by Country Stitches. Center of it was a class that was taught by Pam Former. So gorgeous. And I love her border. Or shall I say borders? Fine, how are you? Good. Good to see you. Yes, you too. I'm glad you came to the show. Yes, I've been wanting to for a couple years. Mm -hmm. And just, it wouldn't coincide with my schedule. This year it did. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you get some good shots. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. They are. Love it. And I like that you all have your own framing system so you don't have to pay the thousands of dollars to rent. Now, so we've got uh, my friend again, Diane Roberts. She quilted this one. It's got all kinds of things in this panto. It's um, Jiffy Jelly Roll, and it was made by Gina Grow. Free pattern from Moda. I took the class at Times Square. So just you're more square in a square. You just go around a square. I think the blocks are six inches if she used a jelly roll. And this one, let's go see the quilting, which is by Pat Fisher. The whole quilt is by Pat Fisher. Very nice job. And your double pinwheel block. This is a whole cloth quilt. Probably won't show up very well on my camera. By Phyllis Beckman. And then it says it was quilted by the Rock Creek Quilter. So Phyllis must have marked it and then they quilted it. So, see if I can get you a whole view of it. Okay, and the sign. Please do not touch the quilt. <laughs> this is. Aki quilt has a die called the signature die. You use, uh, you can add a three inch corner. Well, they probably got them in different sizes now, but I was gonna say if you got the basic uh, one, you just add a three inch half square triangle, three inch finish half square triangle on the corner. This one is by Susan Bias. Um, just squares with sashing and a cornerstone. Just beautiful. 
Just get rid of some stuff. Any size you have. This Prairie Glutch by Sue Carroll, quilted by Sue Schaefer. Susan Cox and quilted by Jane Forsey. Has some beautiful leaf pattern, I'm assuming. That's what I see. <laughs> it's a lot of movement. I really like the quilt pattern. So the material all came from Hawaii. Beautiful. Baltimore Ablam style quilt. She called it Campania by Mary Drake, quilted by Sherry Seiler. Very beautiful. A lot of work. Look like it might be fusible with the buttonhole stitch. Beautiful. Another beautiful applique quilt. This is by Roseanne Hamilton and quilted by her. Fiesta de Talavera. Let me show you it up close. See her quilting. She wanted it to show. She used a blue thread. Just beautiful. Lovely pattern. Order is nice. Some more squares and rectangles here. Yellow brick road pattern. I have that in yellow and blue hanging in my sewing room. And then this one is message in the needlework pretty and then pizza box quilt so it's a sampler very nice love the colors the teal with the brown and this is by Lucy Daniels, quilted by Loretta Cramp. Very nice, custom quilted. It's got the wishbone in the sashing. What kind of spirals or something in the block. Very nice. Chevron quilt by Mallory Bindorf. Love it, it's rainbow style. Also quilted by her. This is Barbara Schaefer's quilt called Basket Weave and it was quilted by Pam Farmer. She quilted quite a few quilts, so she was just telling me she quilted so many quilts she didn't get a chance to make one for herself. So, very beautiful. Jacksonville area seniors are the owner. This is Long Cabin Christmas. Maker was by them as well and quilted by Teresa Sawyer. It's another log cabin style quilt. It's on point. Very nice. I believe quilt. Judy Hayes and quilted by Terry McMillan. Very nice. 
Nice. Some Bonnet Sue by Rosanna Hamilton. Very nice. And some Bonnet Sue has been doing some quilting. Got things look like on a wall. Very nice and different. I like that. Love it, I love it. Some Bonnet Sue by Eleanor Davis, quoted by Judy Longston. Very nice. Has custom quilting in the alternate block. She has some quilting and then kind of background quilting and the Sun Bonnet Sue with an outline. Very nice. And different Sun Bonnet Sue blocks. So it looks like a calendar quilt. And I probably would know that if I was reading the paperwork. <laughs> It says, four quilting friends made this block of the month challenge for 2018 to be set together in January 2019. Unfortunately, one of our dear friends was taken by cancer in January. On January 2nd, 2019, we are displaying in honor of our dear friend, Sue. Very nice. Gorgeous. Pink quilt. It's a sampler, one point. Then we have squares by Susan Bias. Bias. Friendship star with an uneven nine patch block. It's very pretty too. All 30s prints. This is by Sue Carroll and quilted by Pam Farmer. And I didn't know Pam was the owner of the So Sweet Quilt Shop. Awesome. <laughs> this is Saving the Blues. So this quilt was made for Cole Reef, my grandson, with highlights of his high school years. Very nice. So she machine embroidered certain things on. Very nice. This is one of those quilts I want to touch. <laughs> just to see how heavy the denim is. And she just um, quilted right over the pocket. So very nice. And then one more here before I go back down the aisle. Look like machine embroidered quilt. Stitches in bloom by Sherry Beckwith and quilted by Maureen Mueller. Mueller. Maureen Mueller. And then her border is cute too. But I love it. I might have this embroidery design or I think I do, but so many things are called stitches in bloom. But gorgeous. This is another blue jean quilt by Carol Lloyd. I've been wanting to make one of these. Now, I, here's what I was taking some pictures of. Very nice. And that. And that. And then this is the back of and another that. quilt. And I thought, but just well, gorgeous denim quilt. I want to see how wide it is. And then she sends me the very nice. So we're just going to skip this section. Come back, maybe. <laughs> we'll just skip. This is cute mystery quilt. Very nice. Love all the movement with the different blocks look like some are set on point and they're not very nice
it's just the way that the colors come together make you think it's been put together on point very nice nice trick to the eye this is by Mary Moose quilted by Diane Roberts class was taught by Diane Roberts it was a lot of fun I love it and so you've got different variations of the same quilt very nice so that might have been what we skipped as well and then we'll have some more up here it's nice more here these same quilts and then we come to another mystery quilt done through quilters anonymous so it's like a chain link simple pattern right here and then very nice same pattern different prints same pattern different prints and so we've got like maybe a class full of those as well so we'll skip some this is perplexing watch word by Dorothy quoted by Dorothy Dorothy Kilo. Very nice. And then some of them return long ways. So very nice. And the giraffe quilt, that's beautiful. Phyllis Buchanan, quilted by Sue Hawkins Smith. Love the detail. I forget the name of the ladies whose patterns these are, but it's not on the paperwork, so. Quilted jacket. Very nice. And panel quilt. Very nice. A sampler quilt. Nice. I've made this log cabin setting. They used half square triangles. I did that in a scrappy quilt and a small one in one of my videos. Very nice. Um, made by Dorothy Keylor. Lovely seam quilt, applique, all boutiques look like. It's cute. Even got a quilt in it, clothes on the line. And it was made by Sue Becker, also quilted by her. Very nice. Ruth Gilbert, quilted by Pam Former. I have this. It's a Need a Good Design. 
embroidery design have not done it either <laughs> I have a lot of embroidery designs just collecting dust <laughs> We got into wall hangers, so we've got a lot more quilts hanging in one area. But beautiful work. Another panel quilt. I love how the bear kind of disappears into the trees. And the quilting on it is by Diane Roberts. I <laughs> should have known because it's got the appropriate quilting elks and things in the background. Very nice. And it's custom quilted. Pam Former here quilted this one. The Baptist Fan made by Ruth Gilbert. Fresh Warm Trees by Jean Langley. And this is by Glenda Eldridge. I love it. All blues and then just the poinsettia flower she calls it poinsettia frost i've seen this pattern before judy hayes made it she calls it some like it hot this is also by glenda eldridge quilted by diane roberts look like some of the same thing as here so very nice She's gifted both of those. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Got some 3D stuff here. Very nice. This look like machine embroidery baskets. I'm not really sure but it's beautiful, made with 30 prints in the settings. Very nice. And my battery is blinking. We're gonna see if we can make it through the show. I may have a pause. This is cute where they fussy cut the centers for the bunny rabbits. Just gorgeous. <laughs> And the border is awesome as well. Nice quote. Show you the whole thing if I can back up. This here is by Editor Star and it's Winter Village pattern. Made by Diane Roberts. Very nice. Usable applique for applique and her houses are pieced so dual technique quilt and go for it quilt look like some machine embroidery in here she says no experience with machine embroidery go cutter and piecing in the Patient tutelage of all the ladies at Times Square by Teresa Edbury. Very nice. I like all of the different novelty prints in her crayons. <laughs> Hexagon quilt here. Okay. Yeah. Snowman quilt. Machine embroidery, I'm assuming. Sherry Beckwith. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Braided twist. Looks more complicated than it is, but looked out of the ordinary sewing, so I thought I'd try it. Was a class taught by Martha at So Sweet Quilt Shop. Pretty. We saw something similar. This one. Blooming Rose. Home sweet home. I'm gonna try to go a little faster. 
faster so my battery doesn't run, run out. And then I might do a quick walk back through so I can vote. This one's nice. It's uh, Anita's Playhouse. Probably got this one too. <laughs> and uh, it's by Sherry Beckwith. Anita Good Designs and Machine Embroidery. And nice sampler quilt here. It's not very big. I'm gonna say like 50 by 50. Just get oh, it's 63 by 63 and just beautiful lots of little piecing look like it could be bed size when you look in the camera but gorgeous it's by mickey paul and quilted by beverly elder just beautiful love the colors and everything this is a halloween calendar by donna fetzler Table runner. Another Halloween quilt. Sherry Beckwith. And hexagons on the diagonal here. That's pretty cool. Let me show you this one. Very nice. Under the big top, mystery quilt made through Quilters Anonymous. Very nice. Chenille on top of a panel. That's what I'm assuming. <laughs> and just looks like a big stack and whack. <laughs> So I ran out of battery and not in, I'm not sure where I stopped so I'll just start back at this quilted jacket here and has a tote also that matches and then the last thing in the show is the Ford truck chair. Um, Jean Langley made this. Very nice. It's even got the Ford logos on the arms, pretty cool. And then Ford embroidered letters for the buttons, very nice. Very nice. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to attend the bed turning. Uh, I think the next one starts at 1, and let me see what time it is. It's actually 11.28, I just missed the one at 11. So I doubt if I will hang around that long, but we shall see. I'll come back and close this out if I don't go to the bed turning.